So the answer to our question is yes, it's bad. Yes, it's bad. Yes, it's a no no and it's bad. Remember it's my birth month and what a way to start the celebration. Last night I no, meron akong lagnat na mamaga ng aking mga ano, I think ang iniisip ko lang ay ano siya uh, sipon, baka may sipon na buo. So sana uh, sipon lang talaga. So I took uh, uh, paracetamol biogesic and then bioflu in case Mala. and then of course dahil masak nga pumunok ay minum ako ng amoxicillin stop it get some help what Para matanggal lang yung sakit today is uh, November 6 uh, kanina night ay kumain ako ng lugaw para matanggal yung aking uh, init at lumabas Ito na siya. Parang masaka na ang pakaramdam ko ngayon. Parang lalag natin ako. Meron akong sipon ba? Yung aking uh, panlasa ay gusto gusto ko kumain. So ngayon meron ako sore throat. Meron paminta. Chili sauce. No, God, please, no, 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 no. No, pa ko nakatre. Thank you. So ayan, kine ichura na. Gan na. Try nyo kumain ng luga kapag ang sakit ang yung katawan limit na pwede maglabas na yung sakit kasi natulusin na ako na yan so kung ano man yung nararamdaman ninyo just be careful dahil hindi pa rin si COVID so And the stars, welcome to my channel, Arlumba My Media. And previously, we saw or a, a video clip. In that video clip, my body temperature was above, way above normal. I felt sick, and I think something is wrong. But instead of going to the doctor, I began to self-medicate because I believe by having a rest or taking some over-the-counter drugs such as pain reliever and paracetamol and eating some hot foods or hot soup will ease up my sickness. In my case, I took pain reliever or amoxicillin to ease the pain in my sore throat. I know that there's nothing wrong in taking those pain relieving drugs as long as it is administered by your local uh, local physicians. Disclaimers note, I am not a professional doctor or medicinal uh, uh, professional or any other uh, drug prescribing uh, professionals not a physician <laughs> and basically I am just a normal person I did this episode because of the note that I really 
documented by sickness during this COVID pandemic. We are not really yet won the fight against COVID-19. So I might as well documented personal experience of mine. And there's no really enough vaccine to fight the worldwide pandemic of COVID-19. So this is just a personal experience of mine and I hope everyone will learn from this. What really is a self-medication? Self-medication is a response to a tough issue. Self-medication happens when a person turns into prescription drugs, illegal drugs, or alcohol in order to deal with the situation they find hurtful, stressful, or emotional. Now let's see. Is self-medication good or bad? Self-medication can cause harm to your health. It can lead to drug addiction, allergy, habituation, or yung lagi mo nang ginagawa. Maybe incorrect diagnosis and dosage, or even disability, or premature death. These are the reasons why people must avoid self-medication at all costs.
answer to our question is Yes, it's a no-no and it's bad! Let's see what are the dangers of self-medication. To find out what really uh, causes harm to our health. If we do this, I just hope that you have learned something from this episode that is really worth reminding that self-medication is not good on your part. Not good because we are giving ourselves chance or the opportunity of causing more harm than good to our body. I guess this will be an eye-opener to all or mostly of us here that uh, we really have to go to our uh, professional doctors and see uh, what they might say to whatever discomforts that you are having.